Let's make yourself comfortable. Yay, sauce? Uh, I think we need to adjust the glossy. Steen Arke Tono Logos. I think that's just the beta version. Sorry, technical difficulties. There, try that. Peace to you. Terrific. Everyone, let's get coming. Now, John, we all simply love your book, and we see some serious franchise potential. I'm excited to share the story with a whole new audience. John, you know, we had quite a task tracking you down. I, I hope the trip through the time extractor wasn't too unpleasant. I'd say it beats going through the eye of a needle any day. John, at Central Studios, we don't just tell stories. We build worlds. And the world you've created in your book is simply stunning. A proud nation under the iron thumb of a brutal empire. A religious establishment seeking to guard its old ways and restore its prior glory. A desert seer who prophesies of a coming liberator. A ragtag group of restless rebels led by a mystical man who may or may not be a god. John, meet Daryl. Not only is he a brilliant script doctor, he weaves a narrative across multiple platforms that will simply hum in the public consciousness. Good to meet you. Likewise. John, we all want to see this movie made. Still, such a distinctive story is a big risk for our studio, which means a certain amount of give and take. Um, now, I know some of this may sound kind of crazy, but uh, just hear us out. Let us reason together. Now, we see a really major appeal in the 18 to 25 demographic. Daryl, you had some ideas on how to broaden that appeal? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We love the idea of the group of guys uh, kicking the dust off their feet, taking on the world. Uh, John, now which, which one of you was the uh, wisecracking sidekick? Wisecracking? Maybe Peter. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> what a who. <laughs> yeah. Now, John, uh, the, the scene where Jesus clears the temple is a classic, but I really think that our hero needs a little more firepower uh, to do the job. Nobody's going to pay any attention to a guy waving a rope. I'm thinking Uzi. I like it. A what? It's quite deadly. Deadly? But Jesus didn't even hit anyone as far as I can remember, except maybe the cattle. Um. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so he uh, he empties a clip into the air and maybe shoots open a few money bags. Hey, try this. We show a money changer grabbing a handful of coins, and as he turns to run, Jesus shoots him in the arm, and coins go flying everywhere. In the arm? Dream sequence, anyone? Excellent. And uh, there's one other scene that. I think falls flat a little bit. I, I do have a solution, but uh, it's the scene where Jesus meets the adulterous woman. Oh, terrific scene. Mm -hmm, yes, and I love how the uh, many of the miracles pay homage to Moses and Elijah. So let's go back to the story of Elijah, where the 50 guys summon him, and, and he says, if I'm a man of God, may fire consume all of you. And boom, just like that, firestorm. Okay, now, what if we leave the part in about the Pharisees saying, the laws of Moses commanded that we stone such women. What do you say? And then, instead of writing in the dust, Jesus just answers back, Gentlemen, I hope you don't mind if I throw first. And then he, and he reaches down, grabs a rock, you know, think David versus Goliath, and suddenly, boom, it's a fireball. So then our hero turns to the woman, shrugs and says, Where are your accusers? What do you think, John? Well... That's about how I imagined it unfolding at the time. All right. Uh, now this might be a good time to talk about titles. Uh, Samantha, what did the focus group come up with? We've got Maasai Hard, uh, The Divine Dozen, and the group favorite, Guardians of the Galilee. Mm, I don't think any of those really nail it. What do you think, Daryl? I got it. What about 12 Guns from Galilee? I 
like the sound of it. Now, John, let's talk about the climax. I like how we deal with the establishment and leave the evil empire for the sequel. But you have Jesus taking all this guff from the soldiers and the priests, you know, um, the whipping and the crown of thorns. That's just great. It gets the audience really mad at the bad guys. But here you have all that great revenge motive and no revenge. Jesus doesn't do anything to save himself. I've been thinking about that. Why don't we just give the high priest and our hero switchblades and just, just let them go at it one-on-one. -on -one. Jesus gets cut a couple of times, but he wins. All right? The crowd grabs him, puts him on their shoulders and cheers. The music builds to a crescendo. The end. Not bad. Hold on. I think we're losing the plot here. Force just isn't the master's style. <laughs> hey, 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 now I see where that Sons of Thunder rep came from. Listen, John, I, I know where you're coming from. I admire Jesus because he's a nice guy. Everybody does. But nice, well, nice isn't going to pay for my Tesla. All right? Our viewers want to see somebody bust heads. You know, these young guys lining up at the box office out there, they, they got no clout. You know, they, they, they dream about being the guy who lays down the law, but they can't. So they go to a movie and watch someone else do it. It's, it's cathartic. I know those guys. That was me and Peter and James and Judas. We followed Jesus because we thought he'd destroy our enemies. Instead, he gave us something new to live for. That sounds good, but there is a dark part of everybody that really relishes vengeance. Now, I don't like it any more than you do, but that's the part of people that attracts them to our movies. And when they come, they bring cash. <laughs> Render unto Caesar. Our viewers will still admire Jesus, but they'll respect him too, because he don't take no guff. Jesus showed we could overcome that dark nature. That's where the real conflict happens, inside us. John, I hear you, but we have to keep it visual. That's just cinema. Now, what about the ending? Okay, how about right before he's about to be nailed to the cross, he socks the guards, Judas tosses him a sawed-off shotgun, and the disciples just start wasting Pharisees, Pilate, everybody. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. John, what's the matter? I've got to go. I, I don't know what y'all will think of this, but uh, what if we made it more of a superhero film? Uh, I, I can see possibilities there, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's definitely cool. heroin. Cool.